general, it's more beneficial for you and you board it out when it's too big with a drawback. I think it's a good enough engine that you don't need to play those high variance, uh, reveal the top X cards spells. Yeah, sometimes you cast two though, and then you wheel and then they bolt you. So you have to <laughs> be aware of that because then bolt will 12 you. Uh, I'm going to fetch an island because secure blue man is the most important thing for like what this hand needs the most. Spaghetti fingers. It could be anything. Yeah, it's it's a pretty fun deck. Uh, I might do a league with it after this. <laughs> yeah, so the bad thing is you don't know if this is good or not in the blind. Um, in this hand, I don't think it's good, but Brainstorm and Ponder are good enough. I think I'd rather have two Brainstorms in my hand. Or if I get thoughts, he's because then he'll probably take neither. Rockman zero zero zero. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So you guys that are new, where are you guys coming from? Are you coming from the ant page or just from Twitch or what? Because I'd like to know where my new followers are coming from. Gotcha. Thank you. Uh, sneak and show. Good to know. You always know it's sneak and show because they always play out metal when they probably shouldn't. Um, there's an Underworld Dreams that I... I guess I'll brainstorm here. That's not bad to put in off show and tell. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I think I want to keep this Underworld Dreams to put in off show and tell, as I said, um, which means I need to get rid of one of these cards. And I think it's a cantrip because if I pick up a Cabal Ritual, then I can go rit rit LED tutor crack and get a discard spell flashback past in flames. Pseudonym. Oh, cool. Well, welcome. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like, if you'd like to message me your name so I know who you are, because I probably remember you if I've played you locally before. I'm going to put back that and the Brainstorm. And I'm going to play a Badlands. Go for that plan. So yeah, since I've streamed that deck with Jarvis, we've made it mono red into this list right here. I should really just, I'm gonna make it a command right now. Ransom results. Okay, so we're not dead, that's a great sign. I'm gonna start my next turn off with a ponder. Tools. Red Ruby Storm, here we go. Why can't you try Phoenix? Because you don't have the Phoenix Zarkin. <laughs> Man, Phoenix, Phoenix is a sweet magic card. I don't know why they keep thinking they can print free effects and they won't wreck havoc because it's like, I don't know, just look at the very, very recent past, starting with prized amalgam, very recently creeping chill has kind of busted open modern. And now we have this Phoenix deck. Like, just don't make things free. Like I love free things as a combo player, but 
Anyways, I think we're at the point where they're going to sneak attack us instead, which would be quite unfortunate. But we're going to draw Brainstorm, cast Ponder, look for any blue source or a discard spell. Hollow one too, thanks Lewis. Also welcome. If he pierces, I'm going to rip pay. Um, those, there's a Cabal Ritual though. Alright, so if I keep this, I can go Lotus Petal, Brainstorm, Dark Rit, Cabal Rit, LED, Tutor. If I do this play, and then that puts me at three. This is card four, five, six, seven. So the Cabal Rit will have thresholds full of six. LED will put me to nine. This will bring me to seven. And then I get a Duress that brings me to six. Passing Flames one to go off. But then if he has two counters, I die. I think I'm okay with... Am I? There's a good chance that he like uses one along the way, though. Cast a lot of cantrips. So my options here are to jam, and we can beat a counter spell. Or to not jam, and then we can die to whatever they put in. I think I'm okay shuffling this. Because discard's just so much better than that line. I'm going to Dark Ritual, cast Infernal 2. No, I'm not. I'm just going to pass. I think this Brainstorm just so likely to find us something that guaranteed kills, though. Or sorry, like find us a discard so that we can like win through two counters. Yes, if we get Snuck Attack here, that's going to be awful, which is what this is. So maybe we should have jammed. Yeah. It's kind of like Dredge, where they just aren't prepared to fight on that axis. Um, we're going to keep playing, because if I draw a land, I can just jam, and if he doesn't have a force, he does. It's kind of like Dredge, where you just like fight on a different axis so that it can't interact with you game one. You're like not cold to like pulling to oblivion you're not all in all right um have i shown to him that i'm storm yet i don't think i have so if i discard brainstorm what will make me regret it i need to draw exactly volk or island here I think it's worth it, though, just because he might not put me on Storm. Maybe that's a lost cause, though. Yeah, and just like the modern deck, if they, like, Leyline you or rip you, you're just the deck with You're just like a mid-range deck with four drops now. Sure. I, that's got to be great for me. Oh, if I draw a land, I'm going to definitely deploy this Thoughtseize. So, we definitely would have had it next turn if we waited. Uh, I'm going to bin this Thoughtseize, because it's the only fair card in this hand, and I drew a Duress as a replacement. Oh my god. Alright. I think it's hands two counters though. It could be like omniscience. This line does be two counters though. Alright. I'm gonna cast it. 
I'm gonna cast Dark Ritual. Might get Skull Pierced, but... Like, I think if he has a Force, he's supposed to use it here. Fluster Storm. Deal. So now they know we're combo, though. Now I don't mind discarding this extra tutor. Maybe that was too ambitious to try and not discard the Thoughtseize. I don't think it's three lands because he was holding lands, though. Like, it's turn seven, he's only... He could just be holding them, though. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> if I have to discard again, it's probably going to be... No, it's going to be Infernal Tutor. I'd like to get him with it game two. Sure. I don't know what this could possibly be. Just tip, just, just sneak and show things. <laughs> Alright. That's just sneak and show things. Alright. Well, unfortunately, we're one mana away from killing him, but... I'm gonna feel like I duped myself if they have two counters in hand. It was a five mana foul, that's why he double fetched. Sure. I guess. It's one in hand that's either a counter spell or a dum dum. Or either a counter spell or a land. Two in hand. That's not very good. <laughs> a land would mean that we have him dead the turn after. Because I can Infernal for an LED, and then I can Infernal Crack both. Well, actually, it wouldn't even guarantee it. I'd need two mana. <laughs> this is a goofy game. You could have a shell and tell ya. That's a good point, Ophidian. So cards you could have are show and tell, counter spells, lands, uh, Lotus Petal. Like, you could have, like, City of Traders or something. Omniscience. Oh man, what do I do? I think I'm supposed to... I don't think it gets better to wait. We've seen a Fluster and a Foul. I guess I'm gonna jam it. I mean, I didn't register this to not jam it. The thing is, if we wait, like the second we draw a mana source, yeah, like this is getting pierced here. It's just getting fouled. That's great. Sure. Don't even have to discard. Get that sick value. Now if we draw a land, because we have a dark grit in our bin, we have lethal. Because that means infernal can get LED, LED can get... Sure. Alright, so he's gone through two fouls and a fluster. And he's shown that he's willing to counter Rituals. I guess Dark Rituals then the best draw here. That is the worst play he can make. Three fouls down. Oh, a maths command. What the fuck? Is this a bluff? The bluff, right? Okay. No, that feels great. I would have just lost the game if that resolved and I found like a ritual. Deal. Does he have the fourth force? 
All right, Max, if we win this game, I'll add the command. Sure. That's just bored. <sighs> going to discard a past in flanks to hand size. Dude. Stop being cheeky here. Go. Don't kill me. He's just trying to get me to concede with him. I'd imagine there's a lot of people that concede to sneak and show activate, or to sneak attack activate. Now it's a lot more likely he has Lance in hand because he put this. Oh my god! Bin this other passive claims. I mean, we're winning the timeout strats here, right? I don't like the timeout strats when he has two sneak attacks in play. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Going to bin a tendrils of agony. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, I like it. I like it like twice, and then it's just like, all right, dude, we get it. Sure. Was well, this going to be ten mana omniscience? I think this is ten mana omniscience. Oh, all right. Um, Underworld Dreams is in our deck uh, because we are playing a two tendrils deck. I want to win so much, Lawrence. All right, we're gonna try. Do I have the ability to try here? And I can lose to literal anything? Like, I can lose to Pierce. Or I can wait a turn and not lose to Pierce. Well, no, it's more like Pierce Fluster. So Sneak and Show plays three Pierce or Flusters, right? All right, I'm going to look this up right now. I'm going to look up, because if they play, like, five of these effects, I think I'm going to wait. But if they play, like, three... But we can beat a spell pier I guess, like, they just haven't hit cantrips yet. It's probably, like, what are the odds? I guess I'm just jamming. Yeah. Oh, my God. He had the fifth one, or the fourth one. That's so bad for me. That's so bad. All right, so we had the fourth one. We got them all out, but now I can't Infernal for shit. I guess I should Infernal for Infernal here to thin my deck of Infernals. All right, so we had Quad Fow. All right, this gets pierced. That's great. Cool. He had both. We fought through both. This card has to be a land. He drew Quad Fows. He drew three. He drew two pierce effects. So close. All right, if we draw another LED, we're going to jam. Draw a ritual, I'm going to Infernal for more. I think I'm just going to cast this Infernal regardless. All right, guys, do I cast the Underworld Dreams? <laughs> do I cast Underworld Dreams here? I can Infernal thin fuck it, I'm gonna cast Underworld Dreams. I didn't come here to not cast it. Like, I have a Tendrils in hand, maybe I draw a Ritual, get some sick Tutor Chain into Lethal. And he doesn't even have Fetch Lands, so like... Where's the bad- oh, I had to sack the bad lands? I can't cast it. I'm not going to not fetch a Volk here. I am gonna Infernal for Infernal, though, if this resolves. I should have realized that I already sacked my uh, my Badlands, and I would have just infernal for a Scalding Tarn. All right, so for those that don't know this Legacy staple, uh, whenever a player draws a card, they take one damage. Now, what if I just played this on one? He would have died. He'd be at one life right now. What's in his hand? Is it just lands and petals and omniscience and shit? 
Yep, fine. Alright, I'm gonna yield to that because you're doing it so damn often. I think I infernal for this extra land right here now. Or do I cast the card? Alright, do I infernal or do... <laughs> I think I'm supposed to Infernal for a land, so I can start flashing these back when I draw. Well, so if I draw any Ritual, I can do it anyways. If I draw a Ritual, I can Infernal, I can flash it back anyways, so I'm just going to cast it, because these will stack. I'm just going to jam the Underworld. I'm assuming there's a black land in my deck. Yeah, there's one. All right. There's just an island left in my deck. All right, opponent, are you ready? And maybe like pierces this or some shit. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Alright, next turn there's another coming. Alright, how long does it take for him to find a dum dum? He drew a land. Alright, we saw a trigger go on the stack. Oh my god, I can't cast it, I'm at one. I'm just gonna start stacking these boys. <laughs> we don't. I tried playing Stuff Arkin at one point, it was too cute. It just cast Brainstorms and AKs and Predicts and Snap Brainstorms and Jaces and shit. Okay, so this might actually be relevant now. I know, right? How is this? We're at turn 19 in a game one versus Sneak and Show. No! <laughs> Alright, he's gonna take six here. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> this game's been so dumb. If I just draw a ball ritual, I can win. Yeah, I might tendril soon. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, right? <laughs> Control for days, I agree. This has been dumb. Don't activate. Yes! <laughs> Alright! We got a chance! This is somehow a game. Alright, boys, we're gonna hit him for five. Oh, I should have infernaled for another. But, like, if we're not dead, I think this means we win, right? Because what would be left? It's just counter spells, right? It's not a cantrip. Like, he's gonna, like, foul a copy or something. Here's a copy, sure. I think his hand is just counters, and there's nothing, like, there's no, there's no cantrips in his deck. I think we, okay, we're gonna put him to one. Then he gets a draw. It's gonna. Oh no, he countered two. Oh no, I only had two copies. <laughs> How is this a game? <laughs> Can I draw a ritual? Gets a thought season now, though. I'm at three. Yes, <laughs> we can end the madness. <laughs> So let's not over, let's not think this, okay, four, okay, he's dead. We won, we did it. Unless he has two counters. It's two show and tells, all right, guys, we did it. Okay, you need to make sure there's a dark ritual in my deck. One in the bin, two in the bin. There's just two in the bin, there's nothing in exile. All right. We did it! <laughs> oh my god, magic's dumb. <laughs> yes, I did promise Mats I will add the Mats command if we win this game, and somehow we won this game. <laughs> uh, and now this gets an LED. Then we flash back past the flames, and he's dead. 
I turn 21 kill after a turn 3 sneak attack. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll... I'll put this game... I'll, I'll clip this VOD for something. Oh my god, how did that happen? Don't crash on me, Moto. I'm like shaking right now. Oh my god. I get the turn 21 in on that screenshot. Let's see. Yep, cool. I'm not worried about timing out. I know this game is indicative of that, but... Yeah, if I had a way to force him to draw, but I don't... That was insane. Him brainstorm locking himself is the only way that we won that game. Alright, sideboard. I like at least one chain of vapor. I like at least I like all the fluster storms. I think I'm gonna board both chain of vapors. Um I'm a fan of chain is like the perfect bounce spell against them. Yeah, I know justice, right? And that. Right, so I'm gonna board out hear me out. I'm gonna board out two underworld dreams and a tendrils. Um, I also normally cut a pass in flames in this matchup, but maybe not like this. Maybe one of these cards is better than Chain of Vapor. No, that would be a really cool board plan, though. I need to have answers to shit bears, so those are in my board. I think this is how I'm going to board right here. Uh, Chain of Vapor. So the fact that we didn't see Omniscience after seeing like basically his whole deck, minus creatures... So I don't know if Creator Maker comes in for Emrakul. Like, it's a cool thing it does, but it doesn't do anything but that. It stops Show and Tell Emrakul, and that's their worst combo mode. It attacks for two. <laughs> in combination with these, then we can't die. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Should I? Should I just not? Okay, this hits everything Chain of Vapor hits. I'm down for that. Except for Leyline. I need an answer to Leyline in my deck. And don't say Underworld Dreams. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> they still just gain 7, though. Uh, should I just leave... Alright, guys, should I... Would you guys like me to try this game plan? So I'm gonna... What do I even board out, then? I cut a Preordain. Do you guys want me to leave all these in? <laughs> Oh my god. All right. For the record, I don't think this is a good game plan. But I'm going to do it. I can cut the preordain. I'll cut a cabal ritual. I guess I'll cut the last. I'll cut a land. Cut a bloodstain mire. So we have two crater makers to answer Emrakul and Cage and shit. I'm going to cut this tendrils, put the second piff in. And we're not boarding answers to ley line besides this. All right. I think this board plan's awful, but I think if it works, this will be amazing. If I was in an actual game, I would board out two of those and not have this this fucking card in my deck right now. Uh, we have to ship this hand. Turn one Underworld. Oh, turn one Thought Season to turn two Underworld. Burning in Korea in my deck. No, then, then we're at Chase territory. Uh, we're 0 1 because I misplayed against Bizarro Storm, I think. We're 3 1 today, but this current league, we're 0 1. We've played versus Maverick. Which we beat in two. Manalist Dredge, which we beat in three. Uh, something, something, and then Bizarro Stompy. Or Bizarro Storm. And then this crazy. Deck. Or I guess it's just Sneak and Show. Sneak and Show without creatures. 
I'm gonna thought seize off underground on it. I could put in underworld dreams. What do you guys think about that? Should I thought seize or just play underworld dreams? Just play like three paths in flames. All right, we'll brew this after this. We'll brew this deck. I think I'm supposed to thought seize, but I'm supposed to not board this way also, so I don't know how much this matters. Uh, I'm hella down to brew a Burning Inquiry version of this deck after. Ophidian, what card is that? Do you mind, like, <laughs> explaining a little more? Yeah, that's fine with me. That's a good exchange. What? Blue, black, red enchantment? What? <laughs> oh man, we can just brew like this 93-94 deck. <laughs> like, go back to the beta strategies. All right, guys, do I cantrip or play my card? I think I'm supposed to cantrip. I'm going to cantrip. I'm going to be a responsible storm. Oh, my fucking God. All right, I'm going to top this. I'm going to duress him. I already have a dumb card to put in off show and so. Yeah, cantrip's correct, but like nothing we're doing here is correct. Oh man, why did I bottom it? No! <laughs> Crater Maker, come back! <laughs> no! Crater Maker, come back! <sighs> oh no, and he knows the top card. No! Crater Maker! <sighs> I haven't put this in because he's gonna Emrakul. In case he drew Grizzlebrand, I'll put this in. He has two show and tells, that's why. Oh, did he not have two show and tells? Yeah. Miracle show and tell, show and tell. Okay. Oh, right on time. I don't know if there are cards that can save me here. All right, we're done. I'm gonna burn his clock and spam F6. He had two show and tells. I think he needs specifically two show and tells and an Emrakul for me to want the Crater Maker. Right, I'm gonna try and catch up on clock here. Because this is a match. That, believe it or not, this is a match that, that could happen. Okay, cool. He's blowing cantrips. Uh, remove this stop. I guess we'll keep it on. Man. Well, yeah, but we... Oh, okay. Okay. That's true. That's a line. I think it's more likely correct that... He just because if he has the land, I'm dead regardless. It's better to just okay. No, no, that's true because intuition costs three mana. Yeah, Lawrence was right. Would not have mattered, but Lawrence's delicious waffles made da, 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 made the correct call. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I'm not going to keep this in my deck. I'm gonna put one chain of vapor in my deck. I'm going to cut this past in flames. I'm going to put these preordains back in my deck. We can keep these. You guys want to meme them. There's a chain of vapor in my deck. I don't want extra pay. I think I'm going to cut one of these, put the land back in.
It's just in general, you need to board in your combo hate in the combo matchups. I guess this is combo hate. This card has won me games against Delver. I do think it's good against Delver, especially with two pith, two tendrils. Arkin, we basically did that. We played two, and then we tendrils him for four on the first game. And then he brainstormed and died. I have no clue how we won that first game, but we did. And <laughs> thanks all for checking out the shenanigans that we have going on right now. I would love to see it again, too. That'd be very nice. All right, I was making a command. I need to make this Ruby Storm command. There we go. Click. What are we doing? Um, yeah, this hand's pretty good. <clears throat> There's a chance that the second tendrils is better than like a land or something. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. What, what was the, it was just going to be like Olay, right? Here, Lawrence, I'll give you a sword. There you go. Oh, he rolled a five. That's really nice. Point Matt Ole. What should the what should the command say, Matt? What would you like your command to say? So we multi five scribe top. We have a thought sees. Do you want the Bob's game life one or do you just want like Ole? All right. Um, I'm going to take show and tell here, considering he's scribe top. I think regardless, I take show until there. Max, is that a sufficient command? Oh, no, I'm down for either one. I'm down for the <laughs> down for the accent OA. Would you like? <laughs> I like the Bob's Game Life quote though. That's pretty sick. I mean, if Bob flips a scooze, it basically gains life. Goes to shuffle. Uh, Tarn, ponder. Okay, I gotta pay attention with this clock. Sick. I think I'm gonna sit on it, though. Probably save it for turn three and just ponder here. Lands and discard are what we... <sighs> I'm gonna shuffle that, guys. Can you make audio command? I'm sure you can for like subs and balls and stuff, but I'm not sure how to do that. This is my first stream in like a month and a half or so. So thanks, all, thank you all for coming back with that. So here's a sneak attack and some other nonsense. We're only down a minute now, which is nice. That was good. You definitely want to start with brainstorm. Mm. 
if we whiff on a land, okay, we didn't. I think this tendrils goes away and this land, and then we infernal for an LED here, and then play out the pedal and say go. Actually, no, I'm gonna hold the pedal in case he sneaks. In case he sneaks in a creature, this like an emerald this turn. I'm not going to get Badlands in case we get Sneak Emrakuld. Now if we draw a Ritual or a Discard Spell, we have Lethal through a counter. Okay, this is also a fine outcome. Oh, yeah, that works too. Looking for a Pierce effect. All right, so I know he doesn't have soft permission. Or maybe he just needed to keep all these cards. If he fetches, we know that he doesn't have soft permission. And like I said, I'm going to hold on to all of these cards, even though I can, like, bluff Fluster. I think it's better to hold on to them in case I get Emeralds. Wait, did he... He just kept the card. Okay. I think I'm supposed to jam here because I only get punished if he has forced blue card and ooh, that's good. That's great. So I have 11 mana down to 9, up to 8, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I can choose to either shred his hand. All right, so we're at this point. Now my lines, I'm a little low on time, so I might not explain them all the way through. So if I pass in flames, whole priority crack them, then I, he fouls, I flash it back, I go down to two, up to three. Uh, cantrip, cantrip. Um, if I infernal, four discard, and then flash it back. Four, go down to two, up to eight, or down, down two up to nine, down to eight, up to three. That leaves me more mana. I'm going to assume he has a counter spell and take the safer on... Well, no, then I, I only have one pass in flames in my deck, right? Or do I have two? If I have two, I like this play a lot more. I have one. Okay, I'm just going to assume he doesn't have a counter. Everyone's supposed to assume he has a counter. Let's see if he just fouls this, though. No, I don't think he would actually be pausing here. I think I'm still going to... No, it's just much safer. And then flash one back, get an ad nauseum at the end, and then untap an ad nauseum. That's a much better line. I'm going to do that. Cool. Um, I'm going to get a duress because I have this thought season in the graveyard if I need to take a creature here. So I'm giving away a confirmed kill for a maybe kill that can win through counter magic. Now if he has foul foul blue card, that's rough. But then I just move on. Currently at 5.20 on clock. Let's see if I can add the Ruby command on screen.
Yeah, I think opponent has a force, and they're all right. They had force ponder. They have a grizzle brain in hand. Um, I think the ponder is actually scarier here. All right, I need to not multitask this hard. I need to stop adding things. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the ponder. Because if I flash it back and I don't have the ability to flash both back, I want to take the grizzle brand and just make sure I don't die. Cracked for black. Sorry, crack for. Yeah, crack for black. Spend a red. Flashback past in flames. I don't have a land drop. It's important to know. Uh, I'm going to Infernal Tutor for another Lion's Eye Diamond here. I'm going to get this Lion's Eye Diamond and crack it for blue. And I'm just going to hope that one of these cantrips hits uh, a ritual of some sort. I'm going to lead on the ponder. Oh my god. The whole graveyard moved. <sighs> I guess... That was annoying. There's a target left, right? Yeah, this Badlands. I'm going to cast this Ponder. Does LED do it? I have one, two, three mana if I keep the LED, and then I tutor for Tendrils. Cool. One, two, three, tutor Tendrils. All right, cool. Hey, Cyrus. It's not an exile. Well, if it's an exile, I'm dead, so. Sick. Alright, Cyrus, you missed an insane game one. We actually killed our sneak and show opponent on turn 21 with dreams. <sighs> Out there. <sighs> File for comp o'clock. <laughs> No, that was just a misclick because I cracked the LED and that shifted where the cards were in the graveyard. All right. That was a pretty bonkers match. I'm going to find a video of this. I'm going to make a video of this match and upload it. Just... All right. That was, that was something.